The daughter's story in Eyes Wide Shut is something I've thought about quite a bit over the years. The daughter character really first caught my eye back in the early 2000s with the home video release. I was watching the movie with a friend who was seeing it for the first time and they were very restless and underwhelmed by the movie. One thing my friend said about the last scene of the picture made me think. They jokingly turned to me and said, they want to look after their daughter instead of being wrapped up in themselves. She's going to get lost in that big toy store all by herself. Even though this comment was a passing joke made out of my friend Shia Boredom, a small light bulb went off in my head. I recently had a great conversation with someone who commented on my previous Eyes Wide Shut film, the meaning behind the masterpiece, Looking Through Bill's Eyes, which explored my thoughts on the film as a whole and a bit about my personal sympathies with Bill. I was asked what I thought about the daughter subplot in the film quite a few times, and it reminded me of this old theory I had. I thought I would do a follow-up video based on that conversation, so thanks a lot for the comments, it really means a lot to me, plus I love to talk theories in film. After my friend's comments back in the early 2000s, I watched the movie again, and while watching Ziegler talk with Bill after the girl's overdose at Ziegler's party, I began to see that Ziegler was grooming Bill. It's an opinion I have that Bill is at Ziegler's beck and call. There's actually a point in the film where Bill drops everything and heads to Ziegler's house when he calls, right in the middle of Bill's investigation into the previous night's happenings. Ziegler has groomed him for service, and Bill is abused for his skill as a doctor by a man of power and status above him, who only wants to exploit him. Part of the definition of being groomed is the way that people can be coerced and silenced by people who are charismatic and powerful. And I think that definitely applies to Bill's relationship with Ziegler. And Ziegler's power over Bill is evidenced in the dialogue when Ziegler coerces Bill into silence by using the words, this is just between us, and Bill of course agrees. From this evidence, I think you can see that there is an element or subplot in the film that is about the concept of grooming. If you choose to continue with this thought, you begin to see evidence of this in other characters. I've always thought it was meant by Kubrick for us to see the progression of the character through Milich's daughter, who was then to evolve into Domino or Prostitute, and then that girl could end up being the dead girl in the morgue. This is just a fan theory, and you can overthink things I know, but this is something I saw. The three girls are one and the same. They are the stages of a character arc played by different actors. I think it's obvious that Milich's daughter mirrors Domino the prostitute. There is evidence to support this in the colours used in their scenes, the stance of the characters is identical at points, and I think it's implied that Milich's daughter will turn into a version of Domino the prostitute, who eventually will fall down. You could say that Milich's daughter is groomed by the powerful suited men she is seen with, and this is enabled by her father for personal gain. If you see this as intended like this, it's terrible and sad, and shows us the greed and lust of powerful men. If you follow down that line of thinking, if, and it's a big if for me, that the character of Bill's daughter is being lured away at the end of the film by the older men in the trench coats, I think this could be considered the beginning of the grooming cycle. In essence, we take it that Helena, Bill's daughter, is taken away and is to be groomed to become the same as Milich's daughter, and then in turn like Domino, then become like the girls at the mansion orgy scene, and then possibly will end up like the dead girl in the morgue. There is a lot that can be interpreted from the end scene. I look at it as a darkly comic ending about the unknown future of love and how frail it is. Alice uses the words, don't use the words forever. I'm not committed to it, but I do think there is a subplot of grooming in the story, and if Bill's daughter is snatched after the camera stops rolling, I think it could be suggested that this is the beginning of the grooming cycle. It's always fun to theorise, but I'm always a little apprehensive about spouting theories. Recently I watched the documentary Film Worker after the death of Kubrick's assistant Leon Vitale, and in that, he laughs at some of the theories critics have had about The Shining. I do think it's possible to overthink things, but sometimes it's fun, and of course we're allowed to. To come full circle, after Cruz and Kidman had their public breakup of their marriage not long after making the film, the same friend who had mentioned the daughter to me later said they thought it was the making of this film that led to the breakup of the couple, 
as some of the content in the film was so close to home for the perfect Hollywood couple. I guess it's all up for personal interpretation. As Tom Cruise once said, Kubrick's movies mean different things to people at different points in their lives. So let me know what you think about Eyes Wide Shut and the character of Helena. I'd love to see and discuss your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening.